What's up everybody and welcome back to the SAT Math Perfect 800 Tips video series. This is tip number four and tip number four is something I tell all my students all the time when I'm working with them one-on-one -on -one, and that is to utilize multiple strategies. So what do I mean when I talk about multiple strategies? A lot of times students are always looking for the best way to handle each and every question and what I often say is the best way to tackle a problem is a lot of times the first way that pops into your mind. So it might not always be the most quote unquote efficient way to do every single problem from a time perspective or accuracy perspective. But if that's what comes to you in the heat of the moment, I often say roll with it. So I'm gonna give these in no particular order, but it's kind of the way that I generally approach each and every problem. So first, I'm gonna roll with standard math analysis. That means if it's a quadratic, I'm gonna think about factoring. If it is a linear equation, I'm gonna put it into slope intercept form and analyze it accordingly. Now, if I happen to get stumped and I hit a roadblock, I've got plug and chug. That means I can work backwards from the answer choices. I can choose the answer numbers A, B, C, and D and start plugging them into the equation and working through them that way and seeing what connects, what hits. Tied in with the plug and chug strategy is also making a table, extracting the information, especially when it's from word problems, and building out a table with different values and analyzing what seems to make sense to me to narrow down my choices. Again, you want to go into every problem with multiple options, multiple avenues to get to success. That's the key. When you've really filled up your options on this front, you'll see that time is no longer an issue, will never be an issue, just because you're gonna be so fluid with the amount of practice and the amount of options you have at your disposal. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to come back for tip number five. I wish you all the best of luck on this upcoming SAT, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.